Okay, November 5th, we woke up at 4.30 this morning, headed down into New York City. We're at Hell's Kitchen Playground. It's 6.30 now, and we're gonna start the day of drop testing. We're gonna drop test a number of playgrounds throughout the city, and we'll see the results we get. What do you think, Isaac? Amen. <laughs> Two, three. Nine sixteen Hick, one forty six peak. Eleven oh five Hick, one fifty three peak. Wow, failing the standard. Ten fifty two and one fifty one peak. As you can see, this playground is like a rock. Just for a little comparison, one hundred and ten G's is going through the front windshield of a car. On to the next one. So this product here looks like a tile. It's a uh, maybe a two by three tile, and we're going to drop on it from a number of different fall heights, and we'll see what we get. Stay tuned. Boom. 2,089 Hick and 233 Gs. At 3,000 Hick, the likelihood of death is 100%. Next playground, onward and upward. One hundred and eighty-four G's, twelve hundred and ninety-one. That's South Penn. Boom! Whoa! So that was one hundred and sixty-six G and eleven hundred and one Hick. This is a port and place surface. We haven't dropped on a port and place surface yet this morning, and uh, we'll see what happens. 179 G's and 1,271 Hick. All right, let's drop. 100 and 630, that's a good number. So there are safe parks here in NYC, it's just not all of them. Just not all of them. Boom, that was a hard hit. 3,357 Hick. 2,321 Hick and 300 Gs. Wow. We can't even begin to describe how much of an impact that is. That's devastating. Let's roll. You ready, Isaac? Yes, sir. Okay, let's hit it. One ninety and ten seventy-eight. Let's go crush Washington. We're going to see if a little newer surface is going to perform a little better. Okay, so we got 129 and 708. So those are good numbers. The product's performing as it should. Results at Mowry Park are pretty good. The surface is brand new. We were hoping for a little better Hick performance. We got around 800, 900 Hick each time. In this weather, it's pretty favorable, but who knows? I mean, come back five years from now, when it's cooled down, when it's still being used, it might get a lot different results. One fifty-three and eleven sixty-six. Eleven twenty-eight and one fifty. Together, Isaac Harvey and I completed seventy-seven drop tests on playgrounds in New York City, Philadelphia, and Washington D.C. in one day. On average, the playground safety surfacing failed to comply to the ASTM twelve ninety-two standard. When we look closer at the results, we see that the head injury criteria, or HIC performance, was far more likely to fail than that of the G-Force or G-Max results. On average throughout our test, the G-Max performance was compliant, though with many playgrounds, it did fail. We certainly don't want to point fingers or anything like that, but we do want to make aware that getting lifetime compliance of your safety surface can be done and it doesn't cost anything more when considering the overall lifetime cost of a failing surface. It actually costs far less to do it right the first time. <laughs>